This is Jim Smith, and today I'm showing you Christy Brunel's new million dollar plus listing in North Golden in Mesa Meadows, Sunstone area. This is a 7,300 square foot ranch with walkout basement with a oversized three car garage with a great workshop in it. And there's even a, there's a gravel area on the left of the garage there where you can park an RV. We're across from open space here and there's also access to this uh, North Table Mountain open space from behind the house. It's a super quiet cul-de-sac with other million dollar homes. Just a r really quiet area. I'm not speaking so you can tell how quiet it is. Let's go inside now and check it out or at least walk closer. I want to show you the covered the covered porch. Here we are on the covered porch. That's a door to the garage there. Can lighting here as well as lighting there. A little seat, sitting area here and here's a here's your view from your front porch. And again, it's so quiet. Coming through this nice storm door, actually has screens on it right now, and through this beautiful eight foot tall solid alder door, we enter the home. When you come in through that beautiful front door, you're immediately on a alder hardwood floor here. It's a beautiful, and you'll notice that all the doors are eight feet tall. Well, most of the doors, doors to the bedrooms and main rooms are all eight feet tall. And here you have a vaulted ceiling with clear story windows, including facing south up there. You can make those out and I'll show you where the switches are because those can be opened and closed by switches down here. So here's the view from the foyer as we walk in. You can go that way to the family room, go that way to the kitchen, and over here is the dining room with another beautiful chandelier. And notice this uh, cove ceiling here, very nice. So let's go into the kitchen first. Really nice wood cabinets with this uh, Sub-Zero, which is has matching cabinet faces on it. Double oven, granite countertops, professional hood above a five burner electric cooktop. There is a gas outlet there if you want to replace it with a gas cooktop. Really pretty kitchen and functional. Here's the, uh, the eating area of the kitchen, not to be confused with the dining room. There's a door to the deck, which will go out there later. And here's the two-sided fireplace that separates this sitting room with this other room. We're gonna call one of these a living room and one a family room, but I don't know right now. Again, super high ceilings here and clear story windows up there. And that's a swinging door out to the deck. It's not a sliding glass door. So really, really beautiful. Look, oh, and look at these cabinets with the glass cabinets above them for display. Really nice. Through here, a little mini desk. Here's the pantry. It's a walk-in pantry. Quite sizable. And capacious. Down here, here's a uh, second refrigerator. And here's the laundry room. Washer and dryer on pedestals. And the laundry sink. And really nice lighting. Here's a walk-in closet. This would be your main closet when you take off your coat coming in. Here's the powder room. I like the under cabinet lighting there as well. And a beautiful countertop, large mirror. And here's the door to the garage. Now the garage is a story in itself. Let me show you this garage. This is a three-car garage. And look at this tall 
SUV or camper really that is uh, parked in here because that door on the right there is, uh, I think it's 10 feet tall. At any rate, it's tall enough to have this huge Mercedes camper come inside. And here is a workshop. It's heated. See the heater, gas heater up there on the uh, uh, from the hanging from the ceiling and look at the quality lighting that they have here lots of lighting I don't know how many of these tools are staying, but they do have a built-in It is plumbed for this vacuum system for removing sawdust. So you see the the uh, hose there for attaching to a to a tool that creates sawdust nice workshop here and a utility sink and a washer and dryer here. So I was told, yeah, okay, there's a dryer over there, and the washer is here. I think this is the washer, yeah, for uh, washing dirty stuff, like tool, uh, blank, uh, towels, workshop towels and stuff. That door over there, by the way, is a door to the front porch. So anyway, great, great garage. Oh, and look, it has, a, has one of those retractable screens. If you want to keep the door open, well, I shouldn't have let it go. Okay, so back in the house, let's go and look at the study and bedrooms that are on this floor, and then later we'll go down those stairs to the basement. So here's a study. It's got a pocket door to enclose it, and it looks out over the covered the same covered patio that's outside the uh, master bedroom, covered deck, I should say. Here's, uh, I, I told you I'd show you where the controls are for the those uh, windows up top, the clear story windows. That's where they can be opened and closed. And that's for a, I believe, for a whole house fan. So coming in here again, notice the tall doors, eight foot doors, hardwood, solid doors. This is the master suite, cove ceiling, Fan, down lights, can lights, beautiful views. How would you like to wake up to this view when you're high enough above the houses below you that you really don't need to worry about privacy? Beautiful mountain views. Here's the master bath with widely separated vanities with large mirrors. And here's a soaking tub. Here's a toilet room with a pocket door and natural light, and here's the walk-in closet with, as you can see, some built-ins. And behind this door is a linen closet. So that's the master suite, and again, there's the door to the deck where the hot tub is, just outside. And here's a little uh, foyer for the two guest bedrooms. Here's one guest bedroom. And it is served by a Jack and Jill bathroom of the best kind. By that I mean I love it when, there's the walk-in closet, I love it when the bedrooms have private vanities and only the tub and toilet are shared. So now I'm walking into the other bedroom. There's the walk-in closet over there. And here's the private sink vanity for this bedroom. Nice layout. And here's that little common space between them. And this is a sizable, almost a walk-in, uh, I'll turn on the light, uh, almost a walk-in linen closet with iron and ironing board hanging on the wall. So. Okay, so we've now seen the full main floor. Let's, uh, let's go out and check out the view from the deck. On the porch now, this is a covered porch at two ends and in the middle here outside the family room is this pergola with uh, extra sunscreen over it. Down at this end where it is covered, you see the can lighting up there. This is outside the kitchen, sliding glass door. There is a 
there is a gas uh, plumbed gas connection here for the gas grill then coming over this way the wraparound porch goes to the master bedroom which is the, the door over there and here's the hot tub and here are stairs down to the patio underneath the deck and here's the side yard that this is an opportunity for me to mention the unique sprinkler system that they have here most sprinkler systems spray water above the grass the sprinkler system for this house is underground it waters the grass from below very expensive but very good method of watering because there's no evaporation loss which is a major contributor to your water bill right there past the uh, to the right of the fence there that's the entrance it turns to the left and goes below the fence and below a retaining wall that's a direct path to the to the uh, open space now the view from the deck is panoramic going from to the right of Mount Galbraith Open Space Park over there is the M for mines on Mount Zion and to the left of it with the towers is Lookout Mountain. And then over here, you have, uh, in the distance, you can see the hogback that's, uh, that you pass on the way to Red Rocks. And over there between the tops of the trees, you can see the iconic Castle Rock formation above the Coors Brewery. And here is that mountain mountain north table mountain open space and that trail which is not visible here because it's just below the retaining wall meets up with the tra trailhead for that park now let's go back inside and check out the basement so we walk through the family room and over to the stairs down to the basement Let's go down. Coming down those stairs, we're in the basement. Uh, really nice uh, Berber carpeting. Berber is my favorite kind of wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Here's a playroom which is set up as a pool room. Notice there's an electric outlet in the carpet. I love it when they think of that. And there's the walkout to the patio underneath the deck. It's a three-sided gas fireplace here. And uh, one step up. From that room is this second family room, I guess is the only way to describe it. it. has that television over there. It has a wet bar over here. The wet bar has a built-in uh, wine refrigerator or beverage ref refrigerator under there. And has a nice view, too. And nice cabinets with glass fronts. So that's the family room with wet bar. The three bedrooms are down at the other end of this uh, hallway here. So I go this way. Here's a hallway bathroom that serves the two bedrooms that don't have their own bathroom. The ceilings here range from eight to 10 feet. Here's, here's the smallest of the guest bedrooms. It has a walk-in closet and looks out under the deck. Here's a bigger one. And there's a walk-in closet in the corner there and it has nice above grade windows without the deck. So it's got great, great mountain views. And then, oh, those double doors are for a uh, linen closet, by the way. Here is the nicest of the bedrooms on this level. And it has its own ensuite three quarter bath. And uh, over here is the walk in closet. So that is the finished part of the basement. Let me show you the unfinished part because, big as this is, there's still a heck of a lot of space behind these walls. Oh, and by the way, over here, this is where the components are for the, uh, the, the, what I think is a whole house sound system, but anyway, whatever, whatever it is, see, those are, those are, uh, uh, dish network tuners. They have two of them, some other tuners down there. Anyway, I wasn't given an explanation of, 
of what each of those things is for and where the speakers are. Here's the unfinished part of the basement. This is one of two high efficiency gas furnaces and there's a water heater next to it. And here's storage space in this direction with natural light at the end of the room. And then down this way is the, oh, and by the way, here's a controller for their underground sprinkler system. Here's more storage, another hot water heater, and another high efficiency furnace. Lots of storage here. So that's the house. Let's go up out front now and wrap it up. Thanks for touring this fabulous North Golden mansion with me today. If you'd like to see it in person, I know that Christy Brunel would be delighted to show it to you. You can reach her anytime on her cell phone at 303-525-2520 or email her at Christy at goldenrealestate.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.